Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were not seated together for the Queen's burial. Except for the royal family, nobody backs Harry into a corner. At the funeral for Queen Elizabeth II on Monday at Westminster Abbey in London, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle did not sit in the front row with Prince William, Kate Middleton, or other family members. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, however, were crammed next to Princess Beatrice and her husband, Edardo Mapelli Mosi, in a corner at the end of the second row. The church aisle stood as a physical barrier between William and Harry, who have had a tense relationship for the previous few years. The newly crowned Prince and Princess of Wales were placed in the first pew with King Charles III, Queen Consort Camilla, and other dignitaries. Prince George, 9, and Princess Charlotte, 7, were seated with their parents, William and Middleton, who are all 40. Prince Louis, their four-year-old son, was not present. Along with Sarah Ferguson, Prince Andrew's ex-wife, Princess Eugenie and her spouse Jack Brooksbank were also present. Andrew was seated in the front row between Princess Anne's husband, Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence, and his brother Prince Edward. Harry, 38, and Markle, 41, somberly followed William and Middleton earlier in the parade as they followed the Queen's coffin. When Harry lost his grandmother, he was obviously unable to wear his military uniform. However, he was permitted to dress in uniform for the Queen's vigil a few days earlier. Instead, Harry opted for a black suit for the funeral, while Markle chose a black dress and cap to replicate Middleton's style. The former suit star gently paid tribute to the Queen by donning earrings that belonged to the late Queen. As William and Middleton have been in the UK to mourn the Queen since the longest reigning monarch in British history passed away at the age of 96 on September 8, Markle and Harry, who went to California in 2020 after retiring from their official duties, have also been there. Harry apparently learned of his grandmother's passing five minutes before it was made public, despite his hasty attempt to be by the Queen's side when she passed away and his hours late arrival. Taking a break from performing royal duties is nothing new for Harry and Markle. The pair kept a low profile throughout their vacation and did not stand on the balcony of Buckingham Palace with other members of the royal family during the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebration in June. A Kardashian-style crazy affair, as some feared Meghan and Harry would do, would be the coronation. Because Britons are sick of the Sussex saga, King Charles III has been advised not to invite Meghan Markle and his son Prince Harry to the coronation. The coronation would become a ridiculous affair if Meghan Markle and Prince Harry attended, a presenter claimed. The remarks coincide with rumors that the king is negotiating with Meghan and Harry about attending the event, according British media. The invitation from King Charles, according to author and broadcaster Esther Krakow, was a bit of a bet. The palace believes that by inviting the Sussexes, they can get ahead of the story, since whether they are present or not, they will still be mentioned during the coronation, according to Ms. Krakow. They have made sure that they are in the public eye regardless of what happens to the royal family, she continued. Although Ms. Krakow acknowledged that she got King Charles's desire to welcome the Sussexes, she cautioned that the British public was sick of the Sussex tale. So, I kind of understand the king's perspective, but the reality is. The coronation is still a public affair, it's still a public event, she said in an interview with Sky News Australia. I believe that many Britons are becoming very tired of this story. We adore this tradition and would like to keep it alive while keeping it relevant to the present. If the Sussexes do go, I don't think we want to carry on this Kardashian-style absurd thing to the coronation.